from the Leeds Rhinos Foundation and today we're going to be looking at basketball indoors and some outdoors as well. The main focus today is going to be looking at our grip, um, our passing and some of our shooting as well. We're also going to look at other skills such as agility and hand-eye coordination too. For key stage two of basketball for our bronze, silver and gold we're going to look at dribbling, we're going to look at passing and we're going to look at shooting. But to start off with, for our bronze, we're going to practice dribbling with each hand, okay? So we're going to start from the edge cone, always go to the middle. So I'll give you an example now. I start off with my dominant hand, back to the middle, and then you're going to choose a different cone to go to each time. Once you've gone, done all the way through, you're going to switch to your left, less dominant hand, back to the middle, remember, all the way through, just like that. Once you've done it all the way around again, you're going to go back to the middle, you're going to start using either hand. So just like that, all the way back and back. You're going to pick a different one each time. Once you've done all four corners, you're going to come back to the middle. Just remember, don't hold the ball in two hands because once you've done that, you've got to try and stop. You're going to do that all the way through three times and you're going to time yourself to see how quick that you can get round. For our silver challenge, we're going to look at our passing. So in basketball, you can do bounce passes, chest passes, or push passes. But just remember from bronze, as soon as you hold the ball in two hands, you've got to stop. So we're going to try and aim to do that on a cone. So once we get to the cone, we're going to make sure our pass. You can either use a wall, or you can get a partner to try and help you out with the passing, because it will improve their passing too. So I'm going to start on this cone here. I'm going to try and dribble towards that cone, and then I'm going to stop at the other cone and I'm going to do a chest pass so from your chest straight to the person they're going to pass it straight back all right now that I've got the ball after I'm going to dribble back I can use my dribbling skills from before straight back to the next cone and I'm going to switch it up and go with a bounce pass so I bounce it on the floor to my partner they're going to pass it straight back once again simple enough you're going to go back to the other cone dribbling it again switching my hands making sure I'm not holding it in two hands. As soon as I do, then I'm gonna do a push pass where I push it through with one hand, just like that, just like that, okay? Bring it back, dribble once again to the other side, and then I'm gonna do an overhead pass. That's the four passes, overhead pass, straight to your partner, try and get round, they're gonna do it all the way back. Then the four passes, you're gonna try and do each pass three times, and you're going to see how many successful passes you can actually do. Try and count and see how many you do and keep your scores. For our gold challenge on basketball key stage two, we're going to look at our shooting. So I've set up five different markers around a hoop or a hoop, or I've just got a, a target. You can use a basket, you can use anything that you, that you can uh, get your hands on. So I'm going to start on each marker. I'm going to do three shots from each marker just to practice my accuracy. All right. So as I'm shooting, it's a bit like a push pass, I'm pushing it upwards so that it would go into the hoop. All right, so I'm going to aim for the middle. Once I've got the middle, I'll get two points. All right, so in basketball, if you get it in the hoop, you get two points. So from each, from each um, marker, you're going to try and get it. So that would be four points because I've got it in successfully. After I've done that each time, you can either reset and go back to that one or you can mix it up and you can go to different cones each time or you can do three from the same cone and then move on. That's totally up to you. So back to the middle, use your accuracy, retrieve your ball, back to the marker, just like that, in the middle, all right? So, so far, I would have eight points. If I've gone all the way through, I've counted the points and I'm feeling like I need to challenge myself a little bit more, you can move it a couple more steps back each cone or you can change the dynamics of how the cones are set out and you can challenge yourself and add three points if it's further away, for example. Try and do that as much as you can. Get your practice in your shoot and remember your techniques. It's push pass upwards with the dominant hand, just up, just like that. Thank you for taking part in the Basketball Olympic Challenges. Um, let us know what your scores are, which, were, which will be given to you. Uh, if there's any other techniques that you need to learn, have a look at the document. Uh, once again, thank you very much. Good luck.